Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and I have a mini album to share today for Go Go Getaway. Uh, this mini album was made as part of my mood board challenge that I set for February's Cyber Crop. Um, and I've used the Simple Vintage Coastal Collection. Um, so here is the mood board. Um, and the way I approach mood boards is to make a list. So I you look at every photo on the mood board and I make a list of everything I can see and it can be pretty abstract. So, you know, for example, um, obviously there are obvious images, um, but for example, the one in the middle that you can just about see on the screen right now is three circles. Um, so I've written down circles, but they've also got map print on. So I've written map print. Um, and for example, if they were on a whitewashed background, I'd put that down as well as like wood grain, for example. So um, there's lots and lots and lots of things um, on that mood board that I've made a massive list um, there. And uh, I go through and I tick off a ho whole load of them actually um, when I actually make this album. So I do manage to make quite a lot um, of those things or incorporate quite a lot of those things from the mood board. So, um, so yeah, that's how I approach mood boards. Um, okay, so you can see from the mood board that it is kind of beachy. Um, so I decided to go for a beach mini album. I have a set of photos from a holiday in Lanzarote um, last year, last summer. Um, so um, there are, I don't, I've never seen any beach huts in Lanzarote, but um, I decided to go for that because it was super cute. So I've used a cut file by Petri Cut Files to um, make the mini album itself. Uh, so she has a, um, it's actually a beach hut mini album cut file. So it comes with four things um, and um, one of which is the front and back cover or two of which are the front and back cover um, and um, they have these those are these um, detailed um, beach huts and that's what I'm backfilling right now so I wanted to put some detail on them so I'm just backfilling the flags um, and um, I'm putting um, I'm putting white on some of the uh, stripes um, so that I have a striped beach house um, because there are stripes on the mood board um, or um, yeah yeah stripes on the mood board. Um, okay so I'm doing that um, also with the cut file you get the backing piece that you can see I've cut from blue there um, and you also get an outline piece um, which is you can see I have a whole bunch of them cut over on the right hand side. So um, so yeah I'm actually going to make I think it ends up being six pages but they're double sided so I have 12 pages in total. Um, I also have um, I also make a little box for the mini album to sit in so I have um, a little box um, with a front with a beach hut on the front and a beach hut on the back so they effectively become my front and back covers um, so that's what I'm using these um, these cut files for um, I'm going to um, add life's a beach um, Perspective by Bramble Fox. I also have the little beach hut that you can see there and some other bits and pieces as well. So I will come back to those later. Um, I do find whenever I make a mini book that my process does seem to be quite disjointed. Um, it's certainly not the order I would do it in if I had already made it and was telling other people how to make it. Um, but because I'm kind of, you know, thinking it through and effectively designing it as I go, um, it's not tried and tested yet. Um, I am it, I'm a little bit all over the place. So if you can't quite follow what I'm doing, then <laughs> that's why. Um, okay, so um, I have cut out all these background pieces from um, various papers from the Simple Vintage Coastal Collection, which is super beautiful, by the way. Um, and um, I have cut some one way and some the other way because some will back the others. Um, I also am going to put the, um, the outlines on each one. Um, and I just decided to, um, before I got going any further that I wanted to turn two of my pages into shaker pockets. So um, on the um, top one, I've got a red background. So I've chosen like a red and gold sequin mix or a pink and gold sequin mix. And the bottom right, I've added, uh, I had a blue background. So I've added lots of shells and aquas in there. So um, yeah, a few shells, seashells. Um, and the shells was on my list of things on the mood board. Um, and I've, you can see that I've got map print um, for one of my pages um, down there. Um, and I've also got wood grain. That's also on the mood board. Um, so that's another one complete. Um, now when I stuck the outlines um, onto the shaker pockets that have um, acetate over the top which is obviously sewn in place um, it was quite tricky for the outlines to stick nicely um, so that's why I've just weighed that down with um, some punches there so that's why that looks a bit strange um, right so I had one um, backing piece um, 
that miscut. So I'm having to um, just make sure that that works and that it's fully covered on the back as well. Um, so, you know, some, sometimes things go slightly wrong with cut files, don't they? Um, and uh, yeah, you just need to um, patch them back together if need be or recut them. So I, but I decided this one was salvageable, so I, I did that. Um, so I've made some of the pages into vellum pockets as well. So you can see that one I'm doing right now. I've got a piece of vellum that I've cut to the same size as the bottom of the beach house. Um, and then I've just cut it up at a diagonal angle. Um, and then I've sewn that in place as well. So I've actually made three of those, I think. So I have two out of 12 pages, I have two shaker pockets and three vellum pockets. Um, so yes, so that's that coming on. Obviously, pockets allow you to add in additional photos. You can get way more um, in a pocket than you can on a page. Um, and most of the, a lot of the other pages are going to just be plain flat pages with no interactive elements at all. And actually, that's quite nice because they're all kind of like mini tiny layouts, um, which is it's nice to make. You know, I like my mini albums to have a variety. Some to have pockets, some to have pull out or flip ups, um, and some just to be normal little tiny pages. So I have a good variety here. So I've just got the three pocket pages, two um, shakers, and the rest are just regular little tiny layouts um, with no interactivity. Um, okay, so I so say you can see that I'm making progress here. I've nearly got all 12 of my beach huts done. When I say I've got 12, I've actually got 14 because I did two more because of the front and the back covers of the box, um, which you haven't seen yet, but um, it's coming. Uh, <clears throat> so 12 beach huts plus the front and the back cover. Um, and um, these 12 here are going to form my pages of my mini album itself. And they are going to be stuck back to back. Um, I'm going to attach them with a long piece of ribbon. Um, so it's a little, um, it's not the best way to bind a mini album because it's a little bit um, fluid and they kind of move around and they don't quite behave themselves properly. But um, I decided on this occasion that that was what was right um, for this one. So I'm just decorating the front cover of the um, of the album or the front cover of the box, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and um, I've just put a big layered sticker, it's not actually layered sticker, it's um, a sticker from the sticker sheet, but it looks layered because it's got so many elements to it. Um, and I've just put that in the corner um, and um, I have added the Life's a Beach um, perspective and I've added just added there another little sticker that I've raised on foam pads so it sits on top of the perspective as well. Um, and then I've got one of the seagulls at the top, the Bramble Fox seagulls, how awesome are they? Um, and um, I'm now just tying up some natural rope um, and putting knots all the way along it and I'm going to put that along the top of the little flags um, on the beach hut. So how cute is that? Honestly, I just think that's adorable. Um, so I'm just manipulating that into place uh, with my paper piercing tool. I've just stuck it with glossy accents. Um, and I'm pretty happy uh, with how that is looking. I'm just going to go for an extra couple of little hearts because uh, hearts are on the mood board and we all have hearts. There's a shell there as well, although I'm not sure about actually using that one. Um, and um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. So it's, um, like I said, this is going to be stuck to the front of the box. Um, the box isn't um, going to be anything like special. Uh, it's just a little place for the mini album to sit in. Um, so um, it's literally just going to stand up and be stuck to the front. So um, I added a little decorative brad and um, a seagull sticker as well. Um, and um, I keep referring back to my mood board and ticking off more things uh, that I have included. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to now attempt to uh, stick my album together. Um, so I'm using this natural thread, oh, sorry, not thread, ribbon. Um, I've had this in my stash for... Oh, I don't know how many years. Um, I used to be really into um, stamping up many years ago. Um, it's been a long time since I had anything stamping up, but I still have an awful lot of stamping up stuff. I did love it at the time. Um, and uh, this is one of the ribbons that I got from them. Um, and it's just um, a lot of my ribbons, you know, they don't get used that often, do they? And uh, 
they came on quite large reels. <laughs> so I have oodles and oodles of ribbon. Um, so I thought that this was the perfect kind of colour to use for this um, mini book. Um, and um, that's what I went ahead and used. So I've got a big long piece. Now because I want to, I don't want to concertina fold this mini album because what I find happens is that then it doesn't stay together very well. Whereas what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the beach hut on the very right and I'm going to fold it in like that and then the very final one on the left goes over the other way and that kind of contains everything together. But that means I need two pieces of ribbon because I need the other end um, to, um, to, to stick out from a different beach hut, does that make sense? Um, so that it then ties together nicely. Um, it's probably quite hard to understand what on earth it is I'm saying, but if you're um, making something like this um, and want to fold it in the way that I have just folded it, um, then you will need an extra piece of ribbon because um, having a tail on each end doesn't work. Um, so um, I have to put an extra piece in um, and uh, and then I can tie the rib the uh, the album together securely. Um, so just on the other side now, I'm just adding my beach huts onto the back. I stuck my ribbon in place with... Um, uh, double-sided tape to start off with and I also stuck it with um, regular sellotape too to make sure it didn't move and then I also ran th it through ever so slightly on the sides on my sewing machine. Um, I really hate it when when ribbon, well, I really hate it when any mini albums fall apart. It just dresses me so much because they take so long to make and they're so beautiful that it really frustrates me if the adhesive fails. Um, so I tend to sew things together where I can, where it is possible. So literally um, I took each beach hat and I put a few stitches along the side right on the very edge of the cut file, um, just enough stitches to trap the ribbon um, with thread and I've just tied those off and cut them off. So that is how that is working. Um, so this is how the mini book will look. Um, I've got my internal pages, um, I've got my front cover there for the box and then I have a back cover somewhere as well that I don't think I have quite completed. Um, so here I am going to make the box. So I just needed to figure out exactly how big I wanted to make it. In, I make really, really simple boxes. I don't even use a box net. Um, I tend to make two, I, what I tend to use is use two different pieces of um, paper. Um, now the reason for that is because um, when you use a box net, um, you end up with very small tabs um, and um, I find that my DCF is just not good enough to hold those in place and you can't sew um, inside an edge of a box, if that if that makes sense. You just can't get it into the sewing machine. I could hand stitch it, I suppose. Maybe I should do that. Um, but so instead of doing it that way, um, I make the box in this way, um, which is um, two pieces of card so you, or paper. So you can see the one on the um, left-hand side there um, will wrap around the other one, which will be a, a long piece that, that, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> It's just one long piece folded into a box shape but has no bottom. So it then sits inside that bigger piece there um, which acts as the bottom and then the sides just stick together. And that way I find that because the surface area for sticking the box together is so much bigger, I find that it ends up being so much more secure when I'm just using regular adhesive. I should probably invest in red line tape, but I, it's not something I don't have. Um, I'm planning to buy some next time I place an order for foam pads. Um, but um, I did, even when I used to make mini albums many, many years ago, I still found that even with the red line tape, um, at the small tabs, it just wasn't good enough because there's quite a lot of pressure on those tabs. Um, it tends not to hold. so. Anything like that, I tend to sew if I possibly can, or I just make as robust as I possibly can um, in this way. So that's what I have done there. So I've got my little box and I'm just going to stick it, the beach hut to the very front of the box like that, you can see. Um, and then the back is going to go on the back and then the little mini album sits in the front. So there's my back cover, which is completely um, not together yet. Um, <laughs> it will be very soon. Um, and um, <clears throat> that's just going to stick on the back in exactly the same way um, as, um, as the other one did on the front. Um, okay, so I am going to 
go and embellish to my heart's content. Um, and uh, I will be back very shortly um, to show you a flip through of the completed album. Um, but, um, but yeah, I hope you um, have enjoyed the way um, this came together. Uh, it's a very simple design, um, very, very easy and um, good fun to make. So, um, okay. Oh, just adding some, uh, just just putting some details onto this page first, and I've got all these photos to cut up and use. Right, I'm going to switch over to a flip through now. Right, so here is a flip through of the completed album. So, love the front cover and the rope detail. And then the back cover, so this is, this is a box, you see, um, has another perspective on and uh, some more um, of the beautiful ephemera. Um, so it sits up like this and then the little album comes out and then the box is just can go to the side. So, okay, so front cover, if, if you like, it's a shaker pocket. And um, basically this album is just one long line. So... Let's open out the whole thing. So, there we go. I wonder if I can zoom in. Zoom in. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, okay, so um, that first page there, some journaling. And then this one is another shaker pocket with another Bramble Fox perspective there. And the seagulls, I love the seagulls. Then, this is just a standard page as well. And the seagull up here. Then this one is a pocket page. And this little booklet comes out and opens out like this. There we go. Just add water, <laughs> which is really cute. Um, that's, that's just a vellum pocket there. Then that's just a standard page as well. And then this one is another pocket page. So there you go, we've got two photos there um, and on the back as well and um, a little journaling card too, cut from one of the pattern papers. And then I'm going to turn the whole thing over. And that one. one is another pocket page. Again, I have photos inside and photos and journaling on the reverse. Another page there. And another one there. And that is the, what was the front cover. So to fold the whole thing up, I start from this end, fold in, and over, keep going over and over and over and over. And front cover on the top, and then just tie that in a single knot. And then this goes back into the box. There we go. Cute. Right, okay, so that was the completed album. Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing that flip through um, and could get an idea of how it all works. Here are some close-up photos, um, and um, the, the, the close-up photos are also in the Facebook group, um, Go Go Getaway Facebook group, um, in the challenge album, so you can have a look at them high resolution there if you would like to see them. Um, but uh, yeah, here they are, and um, I hope you enjoyed the album. I really enjoyed making it. I love how it turned out. The Simple Vintage Coastal Collection is just beautiful. Uh, don't forget we have cyber crops every month, so pop over and see us, and all the dates are on the group. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Go Go Getaway.